Hello and welcome and the Lord's blessings to you. Um, it seems like everywhere I turn I can't get away from people writing about homelessness <laughs> and it can be a little bit frustrating and it's a kicker. Someone a few years ago gave me this book Awaken the Giant Within um, by Anthony Robbins. Now it is like from 1990 so it's a little bit old but um, it's still good. So, <laughs> But I've been working it's over 500 pages. I'm finally almost through it. But um, it's a kicker. I was reading it the other day and what, lo and behold, the challenge of homelessness. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, can I like, like pick up anything without having like this homeless um, issue, like being thrown up, like, oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, but it was like, and his stats are like in 1990, it was estimated 3 million, roughly one in a hundred. So um, it'd be interesting nowadays with um everything that's happened and especially min minimalist and um just a little different now there are more um people though i'm just wondering how many are henchmen because these newbies are um highly disrespectful they're doing things that are illegal and the cops aren't doing anything about it i mean they're parking like yahoos the one dude is tearing up the seawall which they just redid and i mean it's just asinine and no one will do anything it's like that will fall into the ocean that that already has fallen into the ocean we don't get it back like we've already lost quite a bit quite a bit of seawall there like what the hell and no one will do anything and it's just bizarre i mean they like drove out a bunch of homeless the other year and um then they're like Ooh, it's for fire safety and oh, lo and be go lo, lo and be how is that even set anywho they can show order like there was like two or three fires i'm like what the hell you never heard of a fire there and then like one of them happened like after they got everyone out out of the area it's like yeah that's a little bit shady um just shady i i just wonder how much is how many people are homeless and how many people are being planted to um, raise the stakes for hostility and more law and more, um, this can't be. They're, like, you know, it's just a scare, scare, scare task. Just, oh, I can't talk today. So sorry. Um, thought I could do one a video. Um, anywho, hopefully you get what I mean. <laughs> um, and they do do shit. I knew um, a friend who likes to be in Venice and... <laughs> you know these rich people like were moving in and this was one of the waves a few years ago and um they were getting people to like stab out the um the like waste tank on rvs and then like call the cops and be like Ooh, look what these rv people are doing the rv people aren't doing that they wouldn't be like you know no they're like living there they don't want to smell that um but yeah it was people just paying people to like screw with these people and um it's such a pissed off and um yeah so i am glad i'm actually glad mike bono like re um was re-elected he has a plan of doing housing like in the venice area which the other incumbents or the other people running were all like oh no we can't have that but that can't be for like those people it's like if it's not being used and you're not using it and um i just find it a real piss off because you know you have this asinine mentality of like we're all winners you don't actually have to do anything everyone gets the trophy now that's ludicrous and what's really ludicrous is now that it's being lived out and you have all these numb nuts that are like hey college should be for free hey everything's for free hey i can do whatever i want to so and if you really live by this mentality why the hell can't i park in like why can't i go to beverly hills and park Ooh, they don't allow that <laughs> um why not like if you really believe and we're all equal and diversity is beautiful and um we're all winners and you know just because you didn't put any effort in you still get a trophy well who cares if I'm not a millionaire why the hell can I live in Bel Air I mean <laughs> and I just find it such a huge how they like all have these massive walls and security and yet they're all like Oh no, a wall at the border of our nation, that would be, that's totally uncouth. That's not proper. Well, if you hate walls, why is your house wrapped up in one? Hypocrite. Um, anywho, back to this, sorry. Um, you know, he talks about learning or breaking free of learned helplessness. Um, 
which that can be an issue in any state of life, whether you have a house or not. Um, but like you can make a difference and you know, this whole, um, a homeless person, you know, making the mental shift of homeless to, um, societal contributor. And like I've said before, it's not uncommon for people to have jobs. It's just not. And I know, um, I, I am not able to hold a job, which really sucks. Um, this would be so much easier if I could. <laughs> um, and just be a lot more adventurous. Um, but I can't. But by the grace of God, I found something. I There's something I absolutely love to do. And I my back got injured yet, yet again the other year. And nothing's helping except for this one specific thing. And by the grace of God, I found out um, I can actually do it. I can volunteer and like as I can I can I can contribute and it's a hoot because like it's a pistol it's in an area with like all these richies and it's just like okay so <laughs> you want my ass out of here but I'm making this actually a better place for you okay it's just because I'm in a car doesn't mean I'm a leech doesn't mean I'm uncouth doesn't mean I'm just you know not doing anything um but yeah, and seriously, a lot of people do have jobs. And a lot of times I see the homeless picking up the trash that home dwellers have littered. You have no respect. It's really pathetic when homeless people have more respect for the land in the city than the actual, you know, quote, dwellers. The true, the true people who truly belong here. Oh my gosh, and there's another like thing for like mandatory like making LA like sanctuary city. It's just like how the hell do you get off <laughs> like having a protest to like demand a sanctuary city? Like I demand a sanctuary city for homeless. I demand this whole nation to be sanctuary for homeless who are citizens. That's what I demand. And being that I'm a citizen why shouldn't I have it? I actually have a legal claim. And don't give me no BS about, oh, well, when they buy stuff, they're paying taxes. You know what? When I buy stuff, I'm paying taxes too. And oy vey, seriously, LA, you, oh, <laughs> uh, they voted in an increase in sales tax to help homeless. You realize I'm buying stuff. You realize you're making me pay for programs that aren't even going to go to me. That's asinine. And it's really asinine to tax food. I'm like, there's only so much money. And it's really asinine when you are just, there's just certain things that shouldn't be taxed and food is one of them. And I don't like Ashley Judge is her name, Judd is her name. But yeah, feminine products, like seriously, like those that just shouldn't be taxed. That's the only thing I agreed with that whole like psychotic march. It's just like, there's just certain things that shouldn't be. Um, cause you're like, the government is so frivolous and wasteful and you're taking, you're literally taking food out of my mouth by taxing. Like, let me ta tax me on something that I don't necessarily have to have. Food I have to have. It's such a piss off. I don't get it cause half the places are like, they'll tax you and half the places won't. It's like, what the hell is that? Um, anywho, and, um. But back to this, I'm so not focused today. <laughs> um, he talks about breaking through our stereotypes and that, you know, we do need to um, understand that not everyone is mentally deranged. Like there's 16 to 22% that actually have mental problems. And then he um, asks the question of what causes homelessness. And um, he mentions mental illness. Um, spiraling cost of housing, diminished income, alcohol and drug abuse, and the breakdown of the traditional family. I'd also like to um, add to that um, illness, like physical illness. Like, it's just not mental illness. There are people with physical conditions where you can't handle a house, you can't keep up a job, and Doctors can't necessarily help you. And um, programs aren't made to help people who are truly disabled and truly need help. I've called numerous places. Well, you have to work. <laughs> if I could work, I wouldn't need your help, Einstein. Um, also, 
And it's not just like drug and alcohol abuse. It's, you know, physical abuse and mental abuse. I left a situation. I only had one place to stay. And, you know, I was being told to kill myself and how to kill myself. You know. If that's okay for you, go ahead and stay in your comfy house. That's not okay for me. Um, so, and also, if you don't have much, sometimes you just need a little adventure. And sometimes you can only afford it by being in a vehicle or being on foot. And just because you have a more adventurous spirit and don't have the money. I mean, if you're willing to make the most out of a tiny bit, like... If you're not stealing or harming anyone, I'd say go for it. I just, this current mentality of like, how stoned can I get today? Or how like many brain cells can I like kill off <laughs> with alcohol? And it's like, and I really am noticing like, it, like not only are there like, you know, research saying our IQs dropping, but it's just, it like affects people's voices. They get like this really dullness, this dull to their voice. And it's just like, yeah, light up again. And you know, <laughs> take another shot it's really doing wonders for you but um but yeah there's I, I would much rather um not destroy my brain cells I'd much rather um take what little I have and be like hey what's down that road <laughs> or hey what's over here um sometimes you just I met a guy who like every six to 12 months he'd move to a different city he always had a job always had a place but he's like I want to see America I want to see how people are and people are really different like every I know my college town the whole time I was there they would always joke and be like yeah well this is our foreign exchange student <laughs> and it would be hilarious people would actually be like oh, welcome to America it's like you get it's a you don't get it's a joke okay but, and it was. It, I, I loved where I went to college because it was like being in a foreign country. It was <laughs> so different. And every time I thought I would have all the quirks down, they'd like throw out something else. I'd be like, son of a, like, what the hell is that? <laughs> so, I don't know. Some people are adventurous. I, I don't, sitting back in a house with dumbass games where you kill and rape and steal, that's boring. Or you turn on the TV for more killing and raping and like just crisis drama like constantly I've had enough I like actually have a life and I have enough drama I've had enough death in my life I don't need some phony ass shit as some numb nut that is locked up in some house up on the hill shoving down my throat I just don't need that I don't want it I want life you get one get one ride in this life and even if you want to be like oh you get multiple lives well even if you want to go down that road you get this life one time you won't re you won't repeat this so yeah um and I found you know just the homeless to contribute to you, that's just another stereotype but yeah I found it was just a pistol that I can't even um read through this and I did like you know small efforts he ends with small efforts can make a big difference like give people new <laughs> reference points and um new identities and beliefs and I think a lot of solutions are small solutions like it's not necessarily these millions of dollars for all this housing and what have you it's sometimes it's interesting I had a lady come up to me yesterday and she actually um it was shocking her and her husband they just looked um there's such a thing as learned retardation and that's what they actually had that look. I'm like, are they that stressed out or do they actually have that? And, um, but she came up to me and she's like, I don't mean you no harm. She's very civil. And, um, but she's like, I don't mean you no harm. I don't want no money. I just want soup for my husband and I'm so hungry. And, um, and I acknowledged her and I talked to her for a minute and she was so grateful. She's like, thank you. Thank you so much. No one will acknowledge us. Thank you for acknowledging me. And she laughed with tears in her eyes. All I had to do, I have to give her a thing. I just had to acknowledge her. Seriously, sometimes it's the smallest things that mean the biggest. That will change a person's course. Pitting a person in a house before they're ready isn't going to help. Acknowledging them and helping them where they're at will. God bless.